As more than 90% of adult Malaysian has completed two doses of vaccines, the number of new COVID-19 cases and deaths have significantly decreased. This figure shows the trend of daily cases since February 2021. The current vaccination program has successfully decreased the number of daily cases. This figure shows the trend of daily death cases since February 2021. We also can see the effect of vaccination in reducing death cases. However, compared with other countries, the daily new cases and death rates are still relatively high in Malaysia. Hence, the government has encouraged the public to take booster vaccine to further strengthen their immunity. However, there is hesitation if booster vaccine is really needed and who will be most likely to be benefited from it. Besides, there are also debates if the booster vaccine should be of the same brand as the initial shots or can be mixed and matched with other brands. This figure shows the effect of comorbidity on COVID-19 outcome. It clearly shows that people with comorbidity will require more protection than people without it. This figure shows the age distribution of COVID-19 patients. It is clear that the risk increases with age, especially for those who are 60 year old and above. This figure shows the protection of each brands of vaccine. It is clear that the Sinovac vaccine offers less protection than both Pfizer and AstraZeneca vaccines. However, it should be noted that each vaccine has its pros and cons. Even though Sinovac appear to be less protective, it has various other advantages that the other vaccine does not possess. A detailed discussion on this can be found in our previous video. Hence, people who had comorbidity, 60 years old and above and took Sinovac for their first two doses, are most encouraged to take the booster. In March 2021, a number of countries have halted the use of AstraZeneca vaccine because of concern of the rare but serious side effects of venous thromboembolism. This results in some people who had received AstraZeneca for their first dose vaccine would receive mRNA-based vaccine for their second dose. This unintentional mixed and match of vaccines provide us an insight of the effectiveness and safety of mixing different brands of vaccines. According to the reports from multiple teams of researchers, mixed vaccination may provide the following benefits compared with taking two doses of the same brand. Less likely to develop symptomatic infection. Higher or equal effectiveness compared to taking two doses of Pfizer. Lower infection rates. Stronger protection in immunocompromised people such as those that had received organ transplant. Higher antibody level. Higher neutralization responses. Effective against Delta variant. Nevertheless, some study do show a higher occurrence of both mild and severe adverse events for recipients of mixed vaccination. However, it should be noted that even though the mixed vaccination leads to more adverse events, most of these events were mild and well tolerated. As the reported studies mostly investigate the effect of mixing AstraZeneca with mRNA vaccine, it is not sure if these findings can be applied to the scenario of Sinovac and Pfizer. Finally, even though a strong protection can be triggered by mixed vaccination, we are not sure if the duration of protection is longer than using the same brands of vaccines. If you enjoy the information that we share, please like this video and subscribe to our channel so that you will be notified when our next video is ready. By giving us positive feedback, you will help to promote our videos so that more people will be able to receive correct information regarding COVID-19 and other health analytics. If you are interested in drugs and diseases, this is a course that we recommend. For more information, please scan the QR code or refer to the link in description.